Hey, thank you for buying a Slice Studio Products Blacklight Ping Pong Table. This video will show you how to use it. Uh, so you can see here, using the included uh, cable handles, you can just throw those over the hooks at the bottom and it'll make it much easier to pick up. Just use one hand to lift it with the rope and uh, use the other hand to keep it from tipping over and that makes it much easier to move with two people. Uh, so the first step to set it up is to go ahead and rotate it on one corner. The corner will be fine since it's got that steel uh, bracket on it, but that uh, corner is going to be end up being the middle of your table, so keep that in mind when you're setting up. Now the first step here is to uh, pull the latch. It's just spring-loaded, and pulling it will let you open it. You know, swinging that open will let you see the internal uh, storage, and you can see we've got the ping-pong uh, paddle storage, and that's got your net your net bracket and the uh, other components. There we've got the black light riser and the black light itself all stored in there. So first step here is to remove the black light riser. It's just two pieces of Velcro. Undoing those will let you pull it out, no problem. I'm just gonna set that to the side for now and uh, we're gonna get the black light out of here as well. Um, the black light is held in by a wing nut and a, uh, there's a bit of Velcro holding the cables in place. So if you undo the Velcro here, it'll be uh, home free. Getting that out of there, we can move on. And in this other compartment, you've got the, the net bracket there. You've also got the, the net itself there, and that is neon, so it'll glow as well. And we've also got the paddles and ping pong balls, and those are all in there. You're gonna wanna take uh, tip the table right side up, uh, fold it up, and open it so that you can get those in there. Otherwise, it'll just roll out. So uh, we're going to latch the folding mechanism like this to slide those bars across and get them in the loop. And uh, then we're going to pull the legs out for this side. Now, you're just going to want to do one side at a time. So pull the legs out on this side, set those down, and then go to the other side. We're going to lift this side and put those legs down. Now doing it this way will prevent damage to the legs. If you pull all the legs out and just try rotating it over the legs, that might hurt it. Uh, now we're going to be mounting the black light riser. That's going to hold the net and the black light here. So all that is, put the bolts through the steel bracket there. And go ahead and tighten those, uh, those uh, 1024 nuts thumb tight. Uh, you might want to use a wrench on this side just to keep the black light riser from tilting. But it'll be fine even if you don't. On the other side, we've got the net bracket, and that's just the same process. We're going to stick the bolts through the bracket and tighten those nuts down. Now, these tend to get bent, so you just bend it out. We all have plenty of uh, torque there, so you should be do able to do that pretty easy. Next, we're going to be mounting the black light onto the black light riser, and that'll be able that'll hold it up so that it lights the whole table. You just stick the uh, bolt part there through the hole and tighten the uh, thumb screw down. Pretty dandy. Now we velcroed the cable onto the riser and that'll just keep it nice and neat. And uh, we'll start stringing the net. Now the string just goes across this top screw and you'll want to loop the bottom of the net on the bottom screw. And at this point you're pretty much ready to play ping pong. Let's watch a montage.